If I'm being honest, I think every single content creator is at least a little bit narcissistic. And yeah, of course that includes me. Because you have to tell yourself whatever you're doing is interesting enough that people on the internet are gonna care about it. And I, I to me, that just seems a little, little bit narcissistic. And when I said that includes myself, uh, I'm a little bit more than a little bit narcissistic. And, uh, and today's project is definitely gonna prove that. Because look at this wall. It is completely blank and just begging for a shrine to my inventions. We've got this wall here that is 40 feet long and just completely empty. You might remember in the old studio, the smaller wall of narcissism that we had of all the different photo tiles from my different inventions. I wanna say, I can't remember, I think it was 70 different tiles that were across that wall. Well, today we're, we're tripling that tripling three times. So I have the original 70 that we had on the old wall of narcissism, which I'm running into the back to go grab. Back here, they are somewhere back here. Ooh, that, forgot about this project. We gotta, we gotta do this project soon on the channel. Here they are though. Here we have the original photo tiles from the wall. So we gotta get these all separated. And maybe I'll give you guys some intel on some of my inventions, like the sweat gutters here. This one was inspired by an uh, illustrator on Instagram. Can't remember his name, I'm gonna put it right here. But he made an illustration basically of this concept and I hit him up, I was like, hey, do you want me to bring it to life? And I did. So I'll give you guys some of those tidbits as we set up the wall. The grocery cart hoodie, I filmed this at like five o'clock in the morning before the grocery store opened. I hit up the owner and I was like, hey, can I come film? And that's how I was able to bring this invention video to life. But here we've got the original 70 and I've got the other one, 210 minus 140 other tiles that we're gonna need. So I think the next step is gonna have to be getting all of these unboxed and like pseudo setting them up on the ground. So then we can go put them up on the wall. This is going to be such a massive wall of narcissism. <laughs> I'm sure everyone just hates me. As RuPaul has always said, you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Are going five rows tall and 44 rows long. Look at all those tiles. Look at all those inventions. 44 long so that we'll go from this end of the wall all the way to that end of the wall. Let's do a quick fun fact speed round with some of these inventions. I filmed this invention on the top of a parking garage and got kicked out right as I was finished. This is the only tile of another person other than myself. I filmed this invention with nude colored underwear just in case anything slipped. This invention, I actually dropped my computer on the way to film it on the brick and so the invention did fine. It was my own clumsiness that got the dent there. I couldn't quite get the snowball to look good in photos, so this is actually a 3D printed middle finger. And those aren't my abs. I photoshopped those abs and pecs onto this picture. We have one small issue with all of these tiles set up that I might need to invent a solution to help me figure this out for the wall. You see, I did all the math. It's five rows tall, 44 long, but the wall ends right there and the tiles keep going. I'm gonna need a way to make sure that all the tiles are perfectly aligned so that they're the exact right amount of distance so that it still fits on the wall and we don't end up going past it and everything's not all squared up and looking good. I think I have an over-engineered idea to bring that to life. the Narcissist Helper 5000. That's the, that's the name I'm going with right now. And I was saying it was over-engineered because also my phone slides right into this compartment right here. So now if I bring up the level, so now I'll be able to hold it up against the wall and I'll be able to level it out so that it perfectly is level. And then on the back side, this is the exact measurements I'd need of how far apart each tile needs to be. So we'll just go ahead and line it up in the corner there, line it up in the corner there, and we should be good. This is a Narcissist's 
best friend. Oh yeah, that is definitely gonna do the trick. Let's do it. So I just had to get set up on my ladder so I could get that first tile up in the corner and nice and square. From there, I started working on the first row vertically just to get all of those perfectly in place so then I could start moving across the wall going row by row. Of course, I had to go back a couple times to get them situated to double check that everything was perfectly square. It actually kind of took a long time and I was ready for a break. So I am just about halfway finished and the first half of it took me about an hour and a half to get just this section up. But I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more inside intel on a few more inventions. Let's see. So this invention was my very first brand deal and it helped me go from like just doing it part time to actually going full time. And speaking of brand deals, I actually did not build this invention. Old Spice built this invention and mailed it to me and wanted me to test it out and get my impression if it was an actual unnecessary invention. This invention was not a brand deal, but when McDonald's saw that I made it, they sent me like a whole bunch of free coupons to go eat at McDonald's. But I think we need to stop messing around and get the other, what was it, 21 rows set up on the wall and finish up the wall of narcissism. Where did I put the tool down though? All right, let's get after it. That is the last one. The only thing is that I did still mess up a little bit because somehow my math was not correct. Because if you look here, somehow I still have one row left over, but we made it all the way to the end, just the right amount of distance from there as it was on the other side. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but it looks great. And although I might be a narcissist, I'm not necessarily a perfectionist because it's definitely not perfect. But to me, it's definitely good enough. It's definitely a lot of fun when people come to visit the studio and you just sort of like forget about some of the inventions and you just stare at the wall and you're like, oh my God, I totally remember that one. But if any of the uh, tile companies want to license my Narcissist Holder 5000, gladly would do it for a million dollars. But wait, let's do one last round. This was the very first unnecessary invention. I filmed this invention on vacation. I filmed this invention on vacation. I filmed that invention on vacation and that one too. This one I screwed up because the do not paint is supposed to be backwards if it actually would to work. That one is not any sort of weights and it does not weigh 25 pounds. And that one right there might be the very first time I had a little bit of a mustache. But with that, I'm going to be even more of a narcissist and I'm just gonna go stare at myself and admire all of my beautiful inventions on the wall of narcissism and I'll see you at the next unnecessary invention. See ya.